Well, you could call C.S. Lewis a gateway drug if Catholicism is a drug. Uh, I know a lot of people whose first foray out of classic Protestantism was C.S. Lewis. Uh, he was in many ways a high Anglican. He believed in the real presence. He uh, went to confession to a priest every week. He had a deep devotion to the saints and the Blessed Virgin Mary. Uh, he believed in purgatory and said so. Uh, so his instincts were very Catholic. Uh, Joseph Pierce and um, Christopher Derrick both wrote books on why Lewis never became a Catholic. And both of them say basically the same thing. It was a miracle. Uh, God stopped him because God wanted a spy, uh, a Catholic spy in, in, in Protestants. And he has greased the, the slide for many a Catholic, uh, myself included. I remember at Calvin College, my roommate was losing his faith and he had a, a lot of problems with Calvinism, not so much theologically as, as personally. And he said, well, I read mere Christianity and I got my faith back. And then I discovered that dozens of other people did the same thing. If that's what Christianity is, I'm a Christian. I don't know whether I should be a Calvinist or something else, but that's what I am. So Lewis's decision in mere Christianity to focus on the common essence of Christianity and not to deal with the controversial issues uh, did more for ecumenism than I think any other book ever written. Everything that's not simply propositional, not simply Scottish, I think of John Knox, uh, not simply rational in Christianity, Lewis loves. Uh, romance, mysticism, poetry, sacramentalism, surprise, humor. Uh, it's not that Protestants deny those things, but that's not their forte. Uh, it was his. And you can, of course, be a good Protestant and still accept everything in C.S. Lewis because he doesn't tell you to become a Catholic. He never was himself. Uh, but you're being Catholicized when you read Lewis. He had been told as a Northern Irish Protestant to avoid Papists, and he uh, saw that Tolkien was a Papist, and yet he couldn't help being, becoming his closest friend. Uh, and the story is that Tolkien once badgered Lewis on, why don't you go all the way and swim the Tiber? And Lewis said, stop asking me that question. You couldn't possibly understand you were not born in Belfast. In other words, he knew his limitations, his prejudices.